The Transit Archive Laptop Brief has to be the most spacious 14 liter bag I've ever used. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Mission Workshop Reviews where I buy and test all the gear so you don't have to. And today, I'm going to be reviewing Mission Workshop's newest addition to the shoulder bag lineup. Um, this bag's been out for quite a while, I just haven't had a chance to review it. It's the Transit Archive Laptop Brief. Here it is, I got it in black camo, comes in at 255, um, as do the waxed canvas versions. Uh, the uh, HT500 come in at 235. And this is the successor to their first round of shoulder bags, which is the um, Transit Laptop. So uh, we got that here. Uh, also, kind of back there, if you could see, uh, kind of out of the shot, that's the Transit Duffel. I've reviewed both of those. Um, you could check those reviews out here. Um, they're not the best reviews. That was in the old days of this channel. I've been meaning to do updates on this, but there's a lot of similarities for this bag, so I think that'll count twice. But there's also a lot of differences, a lot of great differences. Um, and even though this bag is five liters smaller than the old version, um, I really think it's, it, it's worth the small loss in capacity for all the added features. So let's just dig into what this bag has to offer. So um, first thing I want to talk about is they thankfully kept this little quick access pocket. Um, I just keep some tissues in here but it will fit an iPhone, Android, keys, wallet, just nice little stuff to have. Um, they also kept the side um, pockets, uh, which people had been using for water bottles and Mission Workshop very nicely added steel grommets down here. So in case um, your water bottle, you know, leaks a little water, just condensation, it's not gonna pool up in the bottom. Although, if you use the Mission Workshop mirror water bottle, it doesn't sweat, so there won't be any condensation in here. But if you're using like a cheap water bottle, um, the neck grommet's really nice to have. Okay, so, um, gosh, where do we go? All right, let's just go into the contents here. So one of the big differences between the old shoulder bag and this new one is there is a separate dedicated laptop zipper pocket, kind of like for the duffel, but the, um, the original uh, laptop brief didn't have that, so that's, really nice you could just go and get your computer out and eat the rest of your contents you know you don't have to jostle them around so um, and just so you know uh, this is super padded on both sides um, it has you know uh, their their regular uh, um, waterproof uh, liner in there uh, YKK uh, aqua guard zips um, so I feel very, very confident, uh, with my laptop in there and, uh, yeah, it's even padded at the bottom guys. So you could just, and not really worry too much about it. Now, um, if you undo these things and these snaps are attached to your handlebars, if you have a Porter style rack on your bicycle, um, this will attach onto your handlebars. These will attach to the actual rack. Um, that's what this stuff is for. Um, but they also have a little uh, pouch here, and that's great just for, you know, this is a, a work bag. So I don't know, I have a middle envelope with nothing in it, but that looks like something you'd bring to work, right? Okay, now let's dig into the contents because it's kind of big in here and it's totally different than the old um, briefcase bag. So first, let's take a look here, just to give you an idea of what you could fit on a regular day. Um, I have my Orion. Okay, this is, uh, it's packable, but not like a micro light. So this takes up a pretty big amount of space and um, this bag ha handles it no problem. Also, I presume maybe you would take lunch. This is a pretty large 
uh, glass Tupperware. And again, uh, no problem. There's also, if you take a look in here, there is a separate space for a folder. And you know what? Give me one second. Y'all, I am switching cameras. I normally never do my review handheld because it's so shaky, but I really wanted to show you the inside of this bag um, because the features are totally different. And you're gonna have pen slots right there. You are gonna have a little pocket in here. Okay, great for a little notebook. And really cool is you're gonna have a zippered mesh pocket here with some some great stretch. Okay, you could keep your your delicates or your your, your tech stuff. Um, you know, I keep a, a Crank Brothers bike tool. By the way, man, this is like one of the best bike tools I've ever owned. Maybe I should do a review on that one day. Um, so yeah, um, it's quite large in here. Um, nice organization. Okay. So like I said, you got the, 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 the folder flap, pockets, pen slots, zippered. Yeah, nice. Okay, now on the other side, um, this is going to be plain because this is RKIV compatible and it can go on the R2, the R6, the R8, the Radian, um, most bags that are RKIV compatible, not the integer. Um, and we're going to test that out in a little bit. Um, now, there is a little pocket here, which I just put like, you know, another little work-related manila folder. Um, but in actuality, this is for a... Uh, uh, so, so this here is for a trolley pass-through on, on your luggage. But this pocket here is going to be quite rigid. This is very, very firm here. And that's so when you attach this onto... Uh, your Archive compatible backpack, it's going to be very firm. And because of uh, the fact that it's Archive compatible, they completely redesigned the uh, shoulder hook here for it to easily come off because you're not going to want to have that uh, when it's attached to your backpack. And you would just throw that in here. And uh, these are hideaway handles. So you can tuck them in there, and then over here, tuck those in, like so. And now I'm going to show you how to do the archives. Okay, so this is the archive compatible side of the bag. Now, when ordering this bag, don't forget to add to your basket a set of four archive clips they're 10 bucks and if you don't get these you will not be able to use this on your archive compatible backpack now these are actually super simple to use um but it's worth me demonstrating so there's going to be one two three four access points and i'm going to show you how to do one and all you do and i'm doing this one-handed so you know bear with me but you slide it in Voila, that's it. And if I had two hands, do it even faster. And we're gonna do the rest of these, and then I'm gonna show you how to slide it on an Archive compatible backpack. All right, I have all four clips placed on. I have a radian right here, and you're just gonna undo your buckle like so. And just like any Archive accessory, you're just gonna slip it on the rails. This I can't do one-handed, so I'm going to show you how this looks in just a sec. So, after a few viewer requests to change the way I do fit picks, I'm trying something new today for this bag, so let me know what you think. Anyway, here is the view of the Archive Transit laptop attached to the Radiant. And yes, it is fully loaded with all the contents I initially had at the beginning of the review. And just so you know, I'm six foot three. So if 
you're shorter, this might look a little, a little different on you. And now let's see how the bag looks on its own. Here it is as a shoulder bag. And then you could also put it over, cinch it up, messenger style. Easily comes off as well. And of course, handheld. All right, everybody, pretty big review for a little bag, but this is a little bag that can really do a ton of stuff, especially if you have an R6 or a Radian. This really just turns, you know, hands free traveling. Uh, in a business setting where you have some downtime to actually check things out uh, I, I, on its head. The combination of this and the Radiant are really just, I kind of can't wait to go on a business trip now. Um, all right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. This is really a great bag. Um, I hope you check it out. And uh, if it works for you, uh, pick it up for sure. And uh, by the time of this filming, I have 991 subscribers. Yeah. So thank you guys. We are almost at a thousand. So come on, give us a subscription. Help us all out. Help keep these reviews coming. Check out my other reviews. Drop a comment below about anything in this video that you like, don't like. And I'm going to be coming back with more videos. They're still coming. See you soon.